Hey folks, my name's Shadon Drought with the Farm Shadow Magazine. Here we are in beautiful mid Canterbury on some very tough ex kale ground. Behind me is uh, the Lemkin Reuben 10, which is supplied by Euro Agri, and uh, this is a six metre version. As you can see, it's a very well presented machine. The paint quality actually is one of the first things that stands out. It's exceptionally well finished. Lemkin themselves have been in business for 240 years. That's a, a very long time for a machinery manufacturer to, uh, to be in business. And there's a couple of features on this machine which really stand out and it just really goes to show how much time they've had in the game. So if we start at the front here, uh, this is drawbar mounted, you can also get a two point hitch. Uh, but what we've got here is, it's hard to see from the side, but this is all profile cut. So this adds a lot of strength to the machine but it actually doesn't add a huge amount of weight because over a six metre uh, version like this, you add a heap of steel and you become a very, very heavy machine, which then just uses additional horsepower that you have to physically drag it around the paddock. Another key feature, uh, on each disc has a coil spring. So if you look at this one, it's easier to see from the side. The coil spring allows this disc and this leg, which is, uh, allows the weight to be straight on the disc so you get great ground penetration which in conditions like this is exceptionally important. Uh, you've also got the 640mm scallop disc on the bottom which uh, there's various disc options uh, but what this spring here does is it allows that disc to move independently of all of the others and if you actually look across the discs as they're working it looks like someone's playing the piano, it's just up and down just chattering along. That allows two things. One is that the stress isn't being put through the frame as they all move independently and secondly unlike rubber mounted ones if it hits a rock or a piece of wood or some obstacle it, that disc will just pop up and go over it as opposed to the whole machine having to to lurch up over the obstacle. If we then move back here uh, we've got these springs which as the trash comes up it hits that, drops it straight back down. That allows the second row of discs to chop it. The other thing here I really like, this is actually a really cool little feature. This is nice and handy that you can just twist that to go up and down. The beauty of that is, is it actually, uh, people will get out and adjust it. So it's nice and simple, just another great little uh, uh, piece of engineering. If we go back here, we've got these hockey stick leveling paddles. So it's a little bit hard to see because they're in the dirt. But what that does is it, uh, it just, it, they're facing uh, alternate ways on one side to the other and that just creates that levelling effect. You've got various roller options, this is a double roller which, with the saw to saw contact so because it's so dry at the moment it doesn't do it but what generally happens you get a bit of moisture and these pack up with soil and that soil on soil really creates a nice consolidating effect. At the back we've got the large transport wheels uh, which also do the head and turning. If you come around here the main feature of this set of discs, which is different to every other set of speed discs, is that these have discs that are left and right facing. So if you look from the front of the machine, the discs uh, go in different directions, and also from the front set to the back set. So what that does is it allows the machine, as you're driving up the paddock, to stay very level, and it tracks very straight. As the, as the machine goes up the paddock, very, very straight in this sort of condition. When it's hard like this, they can track around a lot, and what that does is throws dirt and you end up with large windrows on the side because the discs are moving around so much. So I'm very impressed. So we've, we've gone over this. This is two pass. Um, I can't stress, it was literally like concrete. To get to this in two passes is exceptional. So. Um, check out the video and the drone footage which really goes to show what this machine can do. That's at farmtrader.co.nz, the upcoming uh, review in the magazine and also on the social media applications.